So we've uh, reported on uh, some of the CoreLogic uh, numbers, for instance. They've registered 11 straight monthly national increases in home prices. January is 0.7 percent. Twelve-month uh, national average increase, 9.7 percent. So that's, you know, the entire nation uh, up 10 percent in a year. That's, you know, much higher than a, the 3 or 4 percent uh, that's traditionally been uh, thought of as good for the business. And uh, I don't have this in my slides, but we just reported that uh, the list of improving housing markets rises to 274 in March. It's a net gain of 15 markets. And, you know, for people who think, well, there are some parts of the country that are really doing well and others that haven't recovered, it, that includes entrance from all 50 states in the District of Columbia. So it's really a kind of a broad-based uh, advance. Okay, the Pfizer of Case Schiller, uh, they're projecting that by the end of 2013, virtually every metro area in the United States will show a price increase. And that 15 states are now within 10 percent of the market peaks. So as Alex said, uh, you know, that translates into uh, hot, hot, hot temperature for the uh, markets right now. Uh, let's see, uh, other signs of a hot market that we've reported recently. Ownership by Hispanics is surging. Investors crowding out family for homes. When did we hear that before? Uh, builders go from having lots of land to not having lots. And uh, banks back in southern Florida condos at least on the high end. 